Sharknado, a low-budget, made-for-television disaster film that quite recently went pretty viral on Twitter and around the internet. Now recently I made the mistake of trying to find out what this hype was, that's why I'm making this video. Sharknado was released on the 11th of July 2013 and got an IMBD score of 4.1 and in my opinion that's way too high, it should have two, not even, just... Mm -hmm. So first off, let's have a look at this cover art. Look at the confidence brimming in the cover art. It's good, isn't it? Enough said. Well, enough said. <laughs> Throughout this whole film, it doesn't know what genre it wants to be. Just looking at the cover art creates uncertainty. So we start the film and there's a load of sharks swimming. Who'd have known? Oh. Oh. And there's the low budget CGI we love to see. Oh, this is gonna be good. Hey guys, wait for it, wait for it. Yep, those things you see are in fact sharks. <coughs> now, I remember watching this and absolutely loving it. Look, he's cutting. Oh, look at that. Look at the difference in the background right there. Look, he's not the same plate, not on a boat. No, nope, that's gravel. And they, they're on a boat. Oh, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I literally cannot wait for the rest of this film. No. No, this is literally five seconds after this shitty intro you just saw. This is really how they want to start their movie. This is, this is like five minutes in. Well, I guess it's only uphill from here. Let's say 100,000. <laughs> okay. So here are the film's protagonists, or heroes if you will. They deliver a performance which comes with a side effect of cringiness and possible vomiting. Right, so from this point right here, right here, just look, look at that. It's so painfully obvious that there's a stunt double here. Look, just look at this. It's just, it's just not even subtle! I'm sorry, just watch, just watch this, just watch. Look, just screaming. There's no one's looking, casually. Oh god, just... Slow motion, just what, that, that made this scene better. Mm -hmm. Slow motion, yeah, he's still shouting, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this right here is exactly what I mean by badly trying to hide the stump double. They could make this into a freaking gif. <clears throat> okay, so, oh. Oh. Oh no, our dear hero is being attacked by a shark. Whatever shall we do? We're 100 miles from the ocean. You're exactly 6.6 .6 miles from the ocean. Well, that was good English. Well, look at that lovely view of the beach. There's no way a shark could. I blame myself. Wait a second. Did you did you hear that? That shark made dog noises. Oh. Now it's a shame this guy didn't get killed off here because he annoys me in so many ways. The main one being that he just won't stop with his crappy one-liners. Do you understand? Do you understand? He needs to die. Oh, and by the way, this happened. Right, do you like the interior design of this car? Good, because you're going to be spending the next 40 minutes of this film looking at it. Just take note of this. That is meant to be the street. They're driving. Yep, they're driving in that. These fish surely do have a hankering for me. I literally have no idea what he just said. He's speaking in like three different accents. These fish surely do have a hankering for me. And again, it was a one-liner. And 25 minutes later on, we're still in the car. And what, what is this white in the background here? What is this? What are they in the fucking twilight zone? Now notice here. Yep, right here. Right, right there. How she has a gun in her hand. Now, now watch what, what happens instead of using the gun. Are you fucking kidding me? No shot. Thanks. Looks like it's that time of the month. I'm sorry? At what point did you think that would be an appropriate thing to say? See what I mean? Death? He needs 
to die? The one liners? Oh, the one. They're so bad. Oh, they're so bad. Oh, brilliant. We're back in the car. I warned you. I did. I warned you. I did. What is. Excuse me? What is this magical device she's using? I didn't realise this film was set in the 1970s. And what happened to the background? Did they just give up? Yeah, your luck sucks. Mine too. Not gonna lie, it's kinda hot when you do that. <laughs> Seriously? One minute she's looking at what I can best describe as a brick with TV on it, and then another woman is talking to fucking Siri. Come on guys, we love a bit of contrast, but this is getting out of hand. You okay? My mom always told me Hollywood would kill me. Yep. Yeah, because more people in this film needed to be killed off by shitty CGI. Yeah. Yeah, that made it better. Hey guys, look, we're still in the car from heaven. Oh, there's only one thing which could make this scene better. Oh yes! Yes, I should have seen it coming! And of course, they had to follow in the steps of every other disaster movie and have someone running away from an explosion. Yeah, yeah, really good. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah. I really want to get behind the brilliant mind of this film and wonder why they felt the need to add this scene. It's like they just think adding an explosion will make the film better. No, the answer is no. No, it doesn't. It's time to leave Kansas, mate. <laughs> By the way, prepare yourself. Instead of letting live sharks rain down on people, we're gonna get in that chopper and throw bombs into the tornadoes, blasting those bastards to bits. Oh. Oh, there were so many things wrong with that. Oh. I like it, but how is that gonna stop a tornado? And they're gonna try and blow up a tornado. Yeah. That is a head, that is a head scratcher. Mm -hmm. Tornadoes happen. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy is going to explain how he's going to blow up a tornado. Really, this guy. Not him. Not her. This guy. Tornadoes happen when cold and warm air meet. Now, if you drop a bomb head you're right in the middle of it, you just might equalize it. So that's it. That's your big explanation of how you're going to blow up a tornado. Do you not think we would have thought of that? before to do with tornadoes. Now the idea is not completely implausible, it theoretically it could happen, but you would need so much explosive power to stop a tornado, you'd pretty much need a nuke, which would cause as much damage as the tornado anyway, plus radiation. You can't do that with these tiny little Blue propane bombs! Oh great, so now there's not only a car, but also a helicopter and another plane of existence. Yeah, good, good. Or should I say, helicopter of existence? <laughs> that was good! That was, uh, that was pretty good! That was good! Yeah. So to no one's surprise, sharks miraculously fly out of the tornado, or sharknado, and land in a swimming pool. Yeah, kinda used to it by now. But then we're also supposed to believe that this shark is swimming inside the pool. Do you see any sides of the pool? Do you see the floor of the pool? No. No, I don't believe this for one second. single thing was good about that. Although I would like to congratulate this shark right here for taking that catch. I hope he gets more time in the spotlight. I would just like to point out the terrible continuity here. Look, look here, this is a storm. And now look behind him. Sunny weather. I think you should just slap on a hat and- Oh wait, there's a tornado! By the way, this face you're about to see in the upcoming clip pretty much sums up her emotional palette throughout the whole movie. Hello? 
I bet you can't guess what's going to happen next. You did guess that, right? I'm not even going to comment on this shot. Well, my wish came true. Guess that's what I get. That shark? Is this shark? The same one. How convenient. How lovely. So there you have it. That concludes my video on Sharknado. Did this movie deserve to go viral? No. Not even, not even a tiny bit. But I fear this movie's being exposed to too many innocent eyes anyway. So for all of you out there, rest in peace. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please do like it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And check out some of my other videos. And if you do, I'll give you some hugs. Hugs are good. See you later. Subby, 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 subscribe.